Good day, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news and reviews. Okay, we are back with our Z78 smartwatch, okay? And this time, we are going to check on the support app for this wearable. We are going to pair it with the support app. And of course, we are going to check some additional options for the smartwatch. We'll see if... There will be no conflict when it comes to pairing with its support app. So what is that support app? So as you can see here, it's available in Android and iOS store. We are going to check on that later on. So if you have any questions regarding the pairing of Z78 Ultra with its support app, just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if we do have that time. Okay, so... Let's check our smartwatch. So we still have battery left. So let's see the user manual and check if what is the support app for the smartwatch. Okay. So this is Chinese. Let's check the English language if we do have an English language. Okay, since we have it here. So we have the support app as you can see here. It is using the RD Fit application. Okay, so it is available in Android and iOS platform. So we are going to, to search the application right away on Google Play. So we are not going to scan the QR code. Instead, we'll proceed directly to the Google Play Store and search for the RD Fit application so let's check are the fit yeah so we have here so this is the application are the fit app okay so it's around 64 mb so it's a, a bit big with over 1 million plus downloads so let's install the app okay it's now pending so let's wait okay finally the application is installed we have here the rd fit version 3.5.2 69.5 mb okay okay so let's open the application okay so we have here the rd fit so first we have the privacy policy Okay, so agree to it. Okay, hopefully, hopefully we'll know, will not have any options on registration. Okay, we can add, hopefully we can add our application or our smartwatch directly to this support app. Okay, so we have here on the bottom part, we have the home page, device, and my. So let's tap on this one. Tap on the device. Okay, so these are the settings for your smartwatch and as you can see here device and bound so let's add a smartwatch so permission application so it is asking for GPS I think so allow RDF to access this device's location allow and the Bluetooth also it wants to activate Okay, so as you can see here, our Bluetooth is activated. Again, on the current app, turn on location function. Click, please click settings location service. Turn on location function. Okay, go back, and it's now searching for the smartwatch. So our model is Z78 Ultra. So let's tap on this one. And let's see if we can pair it with our smartwatch. It's now connecting. And that's it. I think we're connected. Are we connected? Okay. Pair and connect. 
So, allow access to your contacts and call history. This is for the Bluetooth call pair. Okay. So, okay, can communicate, communicate with the smartwatch. We are disconnected again. Let's do it again. Z78 Ultra. Okay, I think that's it. Pair and connect. Pair. Synchronization complete. I think that's it. As you can see here, the battery. Okay. Stats of our smart smartwatch appeared here. And our map, map address. Okay, seems like everything is okay. So let's have first. Okay, the first set up preliminary set up let's go to the notifications in order to use the app reminder no, normally you need to obtain notification permission so we will activate it or defeat allow so earlier we already activated our bluetooth call so let's receive sms messages okay notifications or defeat Let's see, seems like everything is okay now. Okay, go back. Right management. Already allow the permission for SMS. Okay, this one. Then we'll activate the phone. Contacts, call logs. Okay. Oh, including the storage then activate it again okay then phone okay and our application here okay go back so sedentary alarm so everything is okay now okay we already activated the basic setup for notifications find device okay Okay, so, so it's work, it works. Then home page. So we here are all the sports and health, personal information settings. So let's change here. Temperature unit Celsius, it's okay. QR code management. Okay. So let's add for example let's add this one let's see okay so you can generate one okay Joe oh we have to select a QR code for our whatsapp and store it okay I get it hey okay, we will check it out later on okay but so far everything works now so we already activated our notification permission including the application the calls and the whatsapp application so for this one we'll just update it when we activate our or when we use our smartwatch for the bluetooth call okay so again, that's it for the pairing of Z78 Ultra smartwatch to the RD Fit support app. So if you have any questions regarding this video tutorial for the Z78 Ultra smartwatch with the RD Fit application, just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries. We do have that time. Bye.